Could you just maybe talk about your approach uh, to the NCAA regional? Do you, you sort of focus on your team and what you need, you guys need to do to get well, or how much do you do that versus scouting of the other guys that are here? I, I think you, you work on what you've been doing all year. You know, it seems a little off to me to try to change anything you've done for game number 61. And, um, you know, our, our formula for winning ball games has been solid start and pitch, and our bullpen's probably our strength. Um, on the mound, and we've we've played very good defense all year, and you know get some timely hits. So with these bats, you never know when or if you're going to get those. So it's obviously a different game, and the other team's pitchers have something to do with that. So we'll get out and, and work out here shortly, and get used to the field. You know, having not played here, um, that's certainly something we need to spend that hour, 15 minutes learning the the field and the angles and surface and things like that. And, then we'll come out and get ready to go. We know we're going to face an awful good pitcher uh, from Maryland tomorrow. And, you know, that's uh, – but we've seen a lot of good pitchers. I mean, you know, Rice got some guys that are first-rounders and um, Virginia and things like that. So it, it, it won't be something we haven't seen. That doesn't mean, you know, anything other than we won't be affected by it. You mentioned the difficult schedule. Um, and what was the most difficult place that you, your team had to play as far as an atmosphere, and does that help you? When yeah, you I, I think uh, obviously, you know, I was at Auburn for five years, so I've been in the SEC, and I still remember the old Sarge Friday, so <laughs> and the old Alex Box days. You know, we didn't play in any atmosphere like that, um, but playing at Virginia, you know, four or 5,000 there, playing at Rice, they had a few thousand there. It's, uh, those were probably the two places that were maybe at least somewhat similar to the atmosphere and again we're playing Maryland tomorrow not South Carolina so you know the it's not going to be an intimidating presence for either team in that game uh, whoever wins in South Carolina wins and that's a different story so you know but I, I think the you know what you guys end up learning as they go through and play in some good places and all that and you know Southern Miss had 5,000 there last week and uh, you know you, you, you learn that the fans don't uh, they don't get to play so if you can tone them out and just play the game then you're better off. Mike? Coach you got a, a couple of uh, experienced starters how much confidence is that giving you knowing that you can throw those guys out there uh, first couple of days? Well, we got uh, senior left-hander Andy Roberts going, who's probably been our most consistent starter, and um, he's just a pitchability lefty. You know, nothing um, overpowering or anything like that. He's got a mix and, and hit his spots. He's he's got a real he's really good at controlling the running game, which helps. And you know, we don't he doesn't give up a lot of free bases, so we have to play good behind him. Um, certainly, and you know, our, our, our kind of what we've tried to do is just let those starters give us what they can and try to hang in there and get to our bullpen, which has been really good for us the last uh, couple months.